All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Adam. What's going on? We're here to talk about the top five misconceptions about Teslas. The best, yeah. Why do these haters all in love with my Tesla? Why do my Tesla best, yeah. Why do these haters all in love with my Tesla? Love with my Tesla. So the first myth is actually going to be people come in all the time asking if they need some type of special charge station. No, they don't need some type of special charge station just because all the Teslas actually come with their own charge station that you could plug in to your normal outlet, just like a laptop. That's right. So you can just go straight into a 110. Anything you can plug your toaster into, your TV, people can just plug in right there. And although it's slow, most people don't actually know, they can get away with a 110. It'll be perfectly fine for their commute. And it's pretty simplistic. So that's what, kind of the main thing that people ask when they come inside. So now, this, Monty, how yeah. many miles can you get on a 110 outlet? Like who would that be good for? So the 110 outlet is actually gonna be perfect for people that usually drive under 40 miles per day because it's typically gonna take about three miles per hour to charge on that 110, extremely slow. If you're going from zero to 100, it might take about 48 hours. But if you plug it in every night and you only drive 40 to 50 miles per day, it's gonna be perfect for that person. Wow. Mm, it's pretty crazy. Now, for what about those people for who they drive more than 50 miles a day? Are they screwed? No, not at all. So for the people that drive more than 50 miles per day, maybe you have a huge commute, maybe you're doing Uber or you live in another city, you're gonna wanna use the 240 uh, adapter. All you do is pull off the adapter, you buy the $35 adapter from Tesla, and that'll give you a full charge by the next morning. Pretty convenient. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. So definitely comment in the comment section if you have questions about how to charge the Tesla. Uh, we're definitely probably gonna make another video on doing so. And as for the second myth, a lot of people come in and they say that this wouldn't work. This wouldn't charge. There's no charging stations where I live. I live in Australia, I live in China, I live in Japan, I live in New York, you know, there's so many buildings, it, it doesn't work here. I live in Pennsylvania, whatever the case may be. Little did they know, they can charge their Tesla on any building that has running electricity. Now, of course, you'll have to get approval from places that you may charge. For example, your friend's house or your house, you'd already have your own approval. Um, but for that, we have plenty of public charge stations all across the world. Many of them are superchargers that will give you about 180 miles in about 15 minutes of charge. The truth is that people that come in and say this in the showroom, they just simply haven't looked. We pull up the plugshare.com website as soon as they mention this and immediately they uh, become educated. You can see in their eyes that they just haven't looked at all. In their charge station around their house, we can find more than 10 chargers most of the time. And they're literally, they're like showered everywhere. It's not gonna be as much as gas stations, uh, but where that problem lies, you can just charge up on electricity. And a lot of times they're actually free, especially if you get the SRX whenever, right now when they have that promotion for free supercharging, that's definitely something to look at. Some people think that it is priceless. Now for number three, the number three myth is a lot of people come in to Tesla and they think they can't afford a Tesla cost $200,000, same price as a Lamborghini. They just can't afford it. And Adam's actually gonna tell us how much a Tesla actually costs. Yeah, so most common configuration price for a Tesla right now is about $50,000, okay? And that's for a little bit higher trim than even what we offer. Here on the islands, we sell, probably our average configuration price of a Model 3 is $39,000. That's before included any tax credits, any gas savings, any maintenance, Okay, so people come in with the misconception that they can't drive a Tesla, but they just went and spent $30,000 on a new Prius plug-in. No tax credit, no street credit. Zero, especially on the street credit. Especially. And the crazy part about it is there's many, many people do financing, many people lease vehicles, and when you're doing something like that, it becomes extremely affordable, especially starting at $35,000 price, for the base model three you basically get almost everything you get into that you need for a tesla except for autopilot and if you want autopilot you just pay a few thousand dollars more 
And at that autopilot price, if you're leasing, it's typically about $399 per month with an average down payment. And if you want to finance it, a little bit bigger than average down payment will bring you around that same price point. So literally $100 a week can get you into the Tesla. If you do work at McDonald's for 10 hours on one day per week, that's $100 on minimum wage. So even if you work at McDonald's, you're making over $400 a month part-time, and even you could afford a Tesla. It's pretty crazy. And people don't always come in and just say, I can't afford this. Sometimes they'll say something silly like, oh, when I hit the lottery, I'll get this. <laughs> when my son hits the lottery, when my son starts working, I can get one of these. All the time. All the time. If I hit the lottery, I don't think I'd be buying a $39,000 car. No. What would no. you get if you hit the lottery? I'd buy a McLaren, I'd buy a Tesla Model S, and a few houses. There you go. Smart man. And then the number four is the Model X doors are impractical. This one we get way too much. This is too many times. People walk in the showroom and immediately just assume this wouldn't work for my garage. Okay, this wouldn't work where I live. This wouldn't work in my city. Where Not at all. Where do you think we live? We're in Honolulu, a city. So they actually fold upwards, kind of like a Falcon opening. Uh, my friend Adam here is gonna demonstrate opening its wings just like this. See how close I am to Monty? Just like this, and then it spreads out. Now obviously if there's, if there's a truck there, if there's something high, it's not gonna open all the way. The sensors are pretty smart all around and you even open in your low hanging garage. If and that is a new dance move that we're bringing to the floor soon, okay? We call it the Falcon Wave. <laughs> and the crazy part about it is um, that the sensors are very smart. Whenever it feels uncomfortable and doesn't want, whenever it feels uncomfortable in a tight space, it just won't open and it's gonna beep at you. And for that, we actually have summoning mode, which you can just press a button on your phone when you get out in the middle of the parking lot and your car will park itself without you in it. So you don't have to do a crazy little dance move to get in your Tesla Model X when there's a tight spot. You'd actually wanna be out of the car before you even park in that tight spot. Wow, that sounds almost more practical than a regular car. I mean, I don't even have to squeeze out in a tight parking spot. My car will take itself. Exactly, so wow. although it looks extremely flashy, it was made exactly for that reason, to be more practical than your average door. And you can find a link to the Model X doors opening, Elon showing it off at the Model X unveiling down yep. below. In the description. So the fifth most common myth um, in a Tesla is that it won't fit in your bag. Now this one's funny. People walk <laughs> in and uh, they say, oh, can't take this back to where I'm from. Oh, this won't fit in my shopping bag. What it's do we like say to that? I say it like it's 2019, all our sales are online. We ship them everywhere. It's kind of like Amazon. And then they get scared. Wait, <laughs> oh, I can buy one here. They might sell me one here. And depending on where you live, it might even show up at your doorstep because Tesla does have direct delivery, just like Amazon. And pretty soon in the future, there might not be anybody delivering your car and you might have an option for autonomous delivery. Autonomous delivery autonomous delivery think about that you don't need me you don't need monty you just go online apple pay with your face id and two weeks later the car would just show up at your door maybe even sooner it's pretty crazy wow so yeah if you have any other questions definitely feel free to drop a comment for me and adam here don't forget to like and subscribe do the channel a favor we're going to be pasting videos probably weekly uh so definitely tune in to the next video deuces thanks guys yeah, we I think we killed it for our first vid. In a test, <laughs> pretty good. Right. Now you'll be able to sync those up pretty easy. Got a oh, battery. Got a yeah, I mean, kick off? Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Adam. In a Tesla. Yeah, I got 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 a Tesla.